Welcome everyone. This is episode six at TOP, the Lifestyle Balance Podcast. It's an honor to have Mike here from Fresh Hells. Thanks for coming, Mike. Thanks for having me. Appreciate Alex. it. Thank you. How how you been so far? Yeah, you know, I'm uh, happy to be here today. I appreciate you reaching out to me. Thanks, Thanks, I man. love talking about my story, love talking about juice, and uh, uh-huh. hopefully I can have a few uh, inspiring things to say here. For sure, for sure. Awesome. Looking forward to it. So, Mike, I guess uh, for those who don't know, maybe just give a little bit of background about yourself and when you started Fresh House. My name is Mike, and uh, I own a couple juice bars, Fresh House Juice Bar. We're a, a cold-pressed juice bar in Woodbridge and Brampton. Uh, we've been around for about six and a half years. And, um, you know, we specialize in uh, a lot of organic juices and uh, uh, acai bowls, dragon fruit bowls, and uh, vegan foods like some salads. You know, we have some uh, energy bites and, uh, you know, little shots, turmeric shots, yeah. ginger shots, everything uh, related to health, you know, so that we can feel good and just, mm-hmm. uh, you know, give our body what it, uh, what it wants. Yeah, what it Healthy needs. food, nourishing food. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Awesome. And that's the number one thing, especially now, I think uh, the, the health and nutrition sector has become so popular recently. Yeah, you know, I always tell everybody, your health is your wealth. Yeah. Because you can have anything in the world. You can have nice covers, the house, the this, the clothes. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a healthy body, you can't sit in your car. You're not yeah. going to even be able to sit down because you're in so much pain. Yeah. You can't use your cottage because you're not feeling well. So mm-hmm. number one, take care of your health. Mm-hmm. And that's what we help people do. Yeah, for sure. I've always been looking at Fresh House in a long time. Like I was telling you, my mom used to drink it a bit. And then I started, I, she brought it home one day. I was like, oh, what's this? Nice bottle, all these different colors. Like, this, this looks really interesting. I tried it a bit. And next thing you know, I took them all away from her. So well, from there. Um, yeah. So, Mike, I guess, uh, where did the name Fresh House originate from? Maybe we'll start there. Well, uh, I actually had a partner when I was uh, in the opening process. We weren't open yet. We were just planning. Okay. And uh, me and my partner sat down one day. Yeah. And she actually thought of it. She, We were just writing down names on a piece of paper. And I okay. remember she Possibly. said Fresh yeah. House. And then I had a few other names. Let's say there was about six of them. After that, we did a survey and okay. I made people choose and we wrote down the six names and everybody chose Fresh House. Wow. So that's how it came to be. Best way, you know, get everyone yeah. involved. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you do that survey with like the public or within like the partners? I think it was like people that? that I had on my Instagram and cool. Facebook at the time. Social media, cool. And uh, that was it. I said, okay, if this is what people want to be called, this is what they're going to be called. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you know now. I yeah. don't have a partner anymore, yeah. but uh, I'm happy that at the beginning she thought of that name. Wow, <laughs> cool, cool. That's awesome. And so, um, how important do you think, like going off of how you did that survey, how important do you think the media played with Fresh House when you started or even now? Uh, it, it, it's everything. Like, we have 30 juices, and all of them. Mm-hmm. Except the first eight, actually. We named the first eight. Uh-huh. After that, I let everybody choose the names. Wow. By the same thing. We usually do a little contest. Hey, this is what's in the juice. What do you think it should be called? Yeah. You get a bunch of different responses. Mm-hmm. And you choose one of the responses. And then that's what we call it. So I, I love getting other people involved in the brand. Because I, think that's really I important. don't have all the answers. You know, Some yeah. people think, Mike, do this. Or here's a cool name for your juice. And yeah. some of the times, most of the time... Their ideas are even better than mine. Really? Which is amazing. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, like media, do you mean like uh, like social media? Any, any way you want to take it, whether it's social media, whether it's promoting in the local business, like uh, uh, putting your name out there. To, yeah. You know, like within the community. Well, you know, I'll tell you, when we opened, it was, uh, again, six and a half years ago. It was 2016. And yeah. At that time, mm. people would come to the store and... Nobody was making Instagram videos yet. No, yeah. I was doing them and you people were. didn't I even see understand them. them. Yeah. So that was my advantage because yeah. there was no competition. For now, sure. I'm on Instagram and everybody's also, everywhere I go, everybody's making, which is great because sure. hey, they learned too, yep. this is the way to go. It is. But I was happy because number one, I would you make tons of videos yeah. 
and there was no competition. People would visit the juice bar, and I would say, here, have a juice, mm -hmm. and post this on your Instagram. And they were posting it, no problem. Yeah. Now it's different. It's like, hey, you know, I uh, can't I don't post know, this. Maybe. My Instagram, yeah. it's not as easy. But yeah. um, it was a huge factor because every single person that walked in the juice bar, I would say, how'd you find out about us? Or oh, Instagram, how'd you find out? And, oh, my friend posted, my friend. So that was how we got the ball rolling at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of community events, you know, For sure. community uh, people, like yeah. uh, my friend AJ. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. you know? So everybody was kind of doing their part. And I had a lot of other Instagram friends also that were cool. doing the same thing as me at the time. But okay. not a lot of people were doing Instagram back then. It was like seven yeah. years ago, you know? Yeah, it was so pretty quiet. They, we had a little group and everyone was helping me promote. And it, nice. was, it was beautiful. It was awesome. really good. It was everything at the beginning. For sure. Yeah. They brought the, the brand name up. The building. Got the name out there. People yeah. were walking in the door. You know, we, we got the ball rolling with the whole company. It was great. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Awesome. And so <laughs> nowadays with Fresh House, you know, like we're noticing, you got two locations now. How did the scale become about that? So, you know what? When I opened, I remember the first thing I said, hey, I'm just, I just want a juice bar and, yeah. uh, and I'm going to be happy, you know, that's nice all one you location. want, you yeah. can't even see anything else. Then the, the first one, it was doing great and the ball was rolling and people were coming and I'm saying, hey, you know what, this is amazing. Yeah. Then we noticed a lot of people were coming from Brampton okay. all the time. Okay. And I was in a position where, um, you know, I wanted to grow people in the company. I wanted to, you know, create a position for a manager and I wanted to get out of there because the business started running without me. It's fulfilling it's beautiful. That's awesome. That was the Not best a lot of part. Businesses could do that. And that's oh I, that, that was so good. And I remember yeah. I, I played it safe. I would go in the basement for like six months. Oh, and really? we see what happens when I disappear because yeah. is the business okay? And that's when you learn the kinks. They're calling me, oh, we have to do this. How do I do this? So then you're teaching them. You're getting all the kinks out of the business. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you know, I was looking for another place. And uh, I found Brampton. And, you know, it was good. And I said, this is a good time. The business is doing well. The staff is here. They're running the place. Amazing. I'm very fortunate to have a great staff without me. Awesome. And uh, then they said, let's go. Let's do it in Brampton. And yeah. now we launched. It's been about uh, four to five months. Congrats. Things are going great, you know, so far so good over there yeah. it's like here you got to get the ball rolling yeah. again you know but now it's uh, well we got the instagram ads out you know but we're doing a lot of stuff community little community events i'm going to the gyms now that it's january trying to well, we put a little table in like front of the stand. gyms cool yeah, we're, we're um, uh, little mommy markets and a lot of signs all over the place cool. and i'm just trying to any way that i can, can. you know promote it out. yeah awesome well i'm glad you can come i hope we can help promote it too here yeah, thanks for having me. You awesome. know what? It's always good to tell a story because, yeah. um, I mean, one thing that I like to say uh, when people have asked me to come on, I say, look, I'm a guy mm -hmm. who came from nothing. Yep. I, I, you know, I started this whole brand by myself awesome. and I'm no different than anyone else. Mm -hmm. I say, if I did this, you can do it because sometimes people hey, say to me, oh, I want to do it, but, but I want to do it, but, but, but what? The excuse. I came from nothing. I was ground zero, you know? So, yeah. hey, if you want to lock yourself in a room mm -hmm. for six months, like I did and mm -hmm. research, you can do it. Yeah, but for sure. But you don't want to do that. Hey, I understand. It's your choice. Oh, at the end everybody day. wants to work. Yeah. You know, that's okay. They want to you know, stay home. That's it. <laughs> that's cool too, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I like to say, believe me, anyone can do this. Anyone, you just have to like hustle hard, like yeah. really hard, yeah. and sacrifice and take a little bit of risk. You know, for sure, That's where it comes <laughs> from. You need risk, for sure. And so, uh, kind of going off of that a little bit, yeah. with the with the risk and and fresh house, how how much of a challenge is the organization? become like the six months between the research and everything. How was that for you? Was it a big challenge to, to just say, okay, I'm going to open up a, a fresh house juice bar? Oh, good question. You know what? I, I've never opened a business, so I was very uh, First confident time. with myself. Okay. And especially, I've never been in this kind of business, yeah. uh, juice bar. So what I had to do at the time was 
I said to myself, okay, I want to open a juice bar. I wasn't confident, so I started approaching other juice bars in Toronto who nice. already had an established brand. Smart. And I said to them, I want to expand your brand. And I met with oh, a wow. bunch of them. I yeah. reached out to like 10, maybe four got back to me. Yeah. I met with three of them, and I got really deep into conversations with about three of them. Wow. At the end, when we were about to like, you know, sign something, yeah. I pulled out. Really? Because I looked at them and I looked at myself and I said, you know what? I, I can, can do, do what it, they yeah. do. I gained the confidence. I said, I can do it. Good for you. But I still didn't know what the hell I was doing. So yeah. then I ended up kind of like hooking up with this partner of mine and she stayed with me for about three months and we were, we were planning, but mm. we came to the conclusion that we need help. So we hired a consultant from okay. New York. Oh, really? And I spoke to this guy on the phone. There was about a year and a half of planning. Wow. I spoke to this guy on the phone for a whole year Okay. because he had to tell me, you know, how big is the space? What equipment do you need? How how do you use the equipment? Yeah. How do you make a production plan? How do you make juice? There's so yeah. many questions to answer. And then after a year, I flew him down. He helped me wow. launch. But wow. it was a lot because at big the process. beginning, yeah, you know, to build a brand right here, you have a bottle. Where do I get the bottle? Where do I get the lid? Where do I get these labels? Who designs the labels? You know, and this is yeah. just looking at the bottle. So everything takes time. For sure. But that's the beauty of, of you know, making your own brand. And yeah. uh, so there was a lot of um, a lot of work at the beginning. For right? sure. A lot, of, a lot of research, you know, R&D, sure. not yeah. stop. Yeah, I, I don't I don't doubt it for a second. <laughs> and so I know, like, Fresh House is, I think, still or one of the, the main and the only when it came up of being a fresh, like a juice bar in, in, in Vaughan and Woodbridge. In this area. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah. So were you confident that, that this was going to be the spot that it was going to hit or were there some like discouragements? Well, I'll tell you, actually, um, one of the companies that I was talking to, yeah, they ended up opening a juice bar okay. about six months before me in Woodbridge. Ooh. So it was in the back of my mind. And yeah. I said, oh, mm. okay. But then I said, you know what? I'm not going to let this bother me you because sure. the world is a big place yeah. and there's always enough to go around for everyone. Yeah. So competition is good too. Exact competition yeah. is good. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I put it in my head. Even if I open this place yeah. and sell one juice, it's still worth it for me because of everything that I'm learning, all the experience yeah. that I'm gaining from this process. Setting up a business itself is such a beautiful way to learn. You learn about yourself, you yeah. learn about business, you learn about research, you learn about networking. Yeah. So that's how I said, I said, you know what? I'm doing this, mm -hmm. even if it doesn't work, mm -hmm. let's, I owe it to myself. For sure. And I just you go all in, you know, you yeah. kind of you just you just jump all take in. Take that risk. Take the risk because even if it doesn't work out, I think that it's still worth it. Gladly, it worked out. <laughs> that was of a good part. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So I mean, hey, uh, we're looking at this juice here. I'm starting to get a little thirsty. That's here. it. Let's crack it. Let's, open, let's open it up. Let's crack it open. Let's huh? try. Okay, you got I am healthy. Okay. That's got spinach, pear, lemon, mint, and turmeric. Nice. I got uh, I am vigorous, apple, beet, pear, lemon, and ginger. Okay. So yours is good because that's a green juice. Nice. We need green juice in our day because we need fruits and vegetables. Oh, I need it more than anyone. Let me and tell you. nobody eats, well, people eat vegetables, but not a lot of people. When I ask yeah, you, I'm you're supposed them. to have you know, eight to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables a day, but a lot of people don't have them. And that's where yeah. we come in. We're helping you guys because this bottle right here is like, you know, six servings of fruits and veggies right wow. there. You know, you got turmeric in there. Turmeric is so good. It's good for the brain. It's good for the liver. It's anti-cancerous. Like yeah. people take turmeric, they do shots of it. Very good. The, the small shots. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How do you shake it? You do I just go like this okay. and watch out. It might be at the top. You open it up. Yeah. And then uh, we'll do a, a, a cheers yeah. far away here. Awesome. Yeah. So we'll do a little cheers. Okay. Cheers. We'll just do that. Beautiful. Cool. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Wow. I like that. Yeah. Honestly. What does it taste like, Alex? It tastes fresh. Not as fresh as be honest. Because uh, I'm not a big vegetable guy. I don't eat vegetables a lot. But this, I can drink. Yeah. And that's okay. You know what? The more we, you learn about it, the more you'll want to, you know, nourish your body. Yeah. You know, you, you have spinach there, mint, 
greens are good, they're mm -hmm. detoxifying, they're cleansing for the body, they give you energy for the body, you know, there's, this is, uh, and the it's body awesome. loves a combination. You can yeah. wake up every day and just eat spinach all day, you know, then yeah. you eat some spinach, you eat some kale, you eat some Swiss chard, you eat lemons, you eat oranges, right? That's what the body loves, so you have a nice little variety over there. Yeah. And the mint's really nice too. Yeah, the little, taste of it. It's a little, little pink. Yeah, there, you know, that's what it is. You're like a chemist when you're yeah. making these juices. A little bit of this, then you remix it. Yeah. Then you let some people try it out. Then you remix it again. It and the next thing you know, you got a juice. Wow. And so, going off that, how, how did you come up with all of the the drinks yourself? The first eight recipes yeah. that my consultant helped me with. Cool. From uh, New York. Yeah. After that, once you learn how to mix, then you, you know what you you're doing after. Then. You, you start thinking, what do I want to add to my lineup? What are people asking me for? for sure. You know, what's popular right now? What are mm -hmm. what, what's what's trending? And then you start mixing, and uh, you add you start adding new ones to the lineup. And yeah. you know, we started with eight. Now we got thirty of them. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Yeah. A lot of options. Oh yes. Awesome. Now I remember. I was like, oh, you said, how do we just do it with eight? <laughs> Everything starts in somewhere, you know. Yeah. This business, I should have said, hey, we started this in my kitchen. Yeah, wow. I had, for six months, every Saturday and Sunday, I had four women showing up to my house. Wow. Helping me juice every weekend. Wow. I had another one showing up on Wednesdays. We were washing bottles in my laundry room mm -hmm. just on a Wednesday. So that's how everything started. Wow. You know, it started front right from the house. Hey, that's the way it goes. That's the hustle. That's it. That's it. You know, people yeah. see it now, yeah. but I'm, you know, they don't see when I was the sleeping on the kitchen floor because I was working nonstop and wow. you're juicing all day on Sunday. And then at nine o'clock at night, you finally finish and I'm doing deliveries until like 11 <laughs> o'clock, you know, so it's, uh, but that's the beauty of it. It is. You know, you it appreciate is. your business more after mm -hmm. when you remember where you came from. For it sure. It should feel good. For sure. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so with the, the whole nutrition side of it, I know you also do, I guess, some meals. Or what else do you also have other than juices? Can you also bar? Yeah, yeah. You know, now we have some acai bowls, yeah. uh, dragon fruit bowls. Those are like uh, mixing a smoothie and you put it in a bowl. And then you okay. put some fresh fruits on top nice. and you eat it with a spoon. They're really good as a snack. Some people will have it as a full meal. And these are just, again, you're loading the body with vitamins. Yeah. This is what you need. Nothing is processed. You're not eating, you know, a yeah. bun with, mm -hmm. you know, a, whatever. From a week old. Yeah, which just turns into sugar. And we have some salads. Nice. You know, and in the salads, again, you know, we have things in the salad. Everything is vegetarian. We put stuff like kimchi in there. Really? You know, we put a uh, lot tofu. Tofu, yeah. Or into that. Just a lot of veggies. Yeah. You know, quinoa. Quinoa. Right? Some brown rice. All healthy nice. stuff. Wow. Yeah, that's a good, cool process. Thank really you, cool. thank you. That's uh, hey, you know what? We're here to keep people healthy. Yeah, of course, it's the number one thing. It's, it's, like, it's like you got lifestyle balance. Yep. You know, we're we're balancing the lifestyle. <laughs> you know? Between health, gotta keep and... everybody in balance. Yeah. Right now, it's January. After the the holidays, people are coming in. They gotta yep. get back on the balance. Yes, yeah. yeah. especially come summertime, people kind of forget about it a bit, and they got they yeah. gotta stay. Yeah. We're all human at the it end happens. of the day. We yeah. gotta, we gotta splurge. We gotta enjoy some of this. Yeah. We, we have to. For sure. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna be too, yeah. too much. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Too much. Yeah. Oh. And so, going off again, nutrition, obviously, because that's the foundation of this business. Yeah. How uh, would you say to someone who maybe wants to start their own nutrition business? What What would you say to them, advice wise? I would say. Like before, you can do anything you want, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Anything is possible. Figure out who's already doing it. That's what I did. Yep. I want a juice bar. Where are the juice bars? I went to the juice bars. I stood there for hours a day. I researched them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, somebody wants to do something. What do you want to do? Yep. Figure out who's doing it. Research all of them. Research at least five of these people. Yeah. And then you start putting your own spin on things. Yes. Yeah. You know, and then once you get the ball rolling, you start asking quite ask questions to people. Like I would go to juice bars and just ask them questions. Yeah. You know? Learn more about it. Just say, hey, like, do you mind if I ask you this? Is the owner here? I don't want to know about this. I want to know about that. Then you find yourself a consultant or nice. a mentor. Yeah. And that's because sometimes we think we can do it all on our own, and we need help. You do. We need support. Yeah. Because so you think 
Just say that, okay? I need help. I need help, Mark. <laughs> yeah, and, and anything is possible in life because uh, if I did it, I, I, I proved, you know, like I, I had nothing, you know, you make a business plan. Yeah. You go to the bank, the bank didn't want to give me money. I had to go to another bank. They said no. Finally, I found someone that wanted to give me a loan. Wow. Then I didn't have enough. Then yeah. you got to start asking other people. My dad had to lend me some money. Then yeah. I had to pay him back right away <laughs> because it was a loan, you know. Yeah. I understand that and I respect him for that. And, you know, sure. you, you start asking and you figure out how to do things along the way. Yeah. Then you make a few mistakes. Then you, you learn, learn from, from your mistakes yeah. and uh, away you go after. It's the best way. <laughs> Trial and error. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And so, Mike, how, with uh, you know opening the next location and, and so forth, what's what's the future looking like, Professionals? What do you have in mind next? You know what? I don't like to set too many expectations for, for myself. For sure, for sure. Because right now, I'm happy the way the business is going. Awesome, awesome. It's great. You know, it's uh, it's going the way position. I want. Yeah. But um, I'm focusing on Brampton. Once we do get Brampton going. Yep. Um, I, you know, I'm still like a pretty young guy here, you know, yeah, I'm 39, sure. uh, yeah. I, I'm not ready to retire, no. so I'll probably end up doing the same thing that I did. Once Brampton is going, yeah. I'll start looking somewhere else, you for know, sure. I want to look for another site and just do the whole thing over again. Yeah. And, uh, another project. I, I don't know how many more I'll do, but mm -hmm. um, I do think that I still have time in my life and I do feel like time, there's right. so much potential. For Brampton to get the you know to really get it going over there, yeah. And then, uh, hey, I don't know where exactly, but I do see uh, another expansion happening in, in the future. Wow, that's great, yeah. awesome, Mike, awesome. And so, we always have this main question the lifestyle yeah. balance. Uh, yeah. So, Mike, with you as yeah. the owner, as a business owner and entrepreneur, yeah, and your own lifestyle, do you ever have difficulty or challenge? with the balance between Fresh House and your own life? Or is it always blended? Or how do you go about it? Right now, I have balance. Okay. When I opened the juice awesome. bar, mm -hmm. I worked seven days a week for wow. probably a year straight, okay. and I did nothing else. And wow. when I say nothing, I mean on Saturday night, I yeah. was at the juice bar. On Friday night, I was at the juice bar. I mean, when there was birthday parties, any kind of event, I mean, uh, I had to cancel. I got invited to a good friend of mine's wedding. Yeah. I, I went nowhere. There was wow. no balance. So I would leave my house at 7 in the morning. And I would get home around 10 o'clock mm -hmm. because I had to learn my business first. There was zero balance. I remember I would go home at night, close my eyes, and I thought that I was at the juice bar again serving people. And I <laughs> opened my eyes and I'm like, holy shit, you're at home. <laughs> and wow. there was zero. But then, as you start putting people in place and training people and you start building systems and structure then you start pulling out okay i'm gonna take monday off okay i'm gonna come in late on thursdays they know what they're doing and they're then okay, slowly yeah. and slowly now i'm at the point where it's beautiful because hey you want me to come here on saturday i can come here i guess yeah. now i have more time more flexibility and when you have this time then you start finding other things to do like I'm really big in uh, meditation I do a lot of breath work you know I just got back from a retreat I did in Costa Rica oh, awesome. we did the uh, ayahuasca there really good for you to awesome. really learn about yourself yeah. you know going deep with yourself and now it's beautiful because I have the time to focus on myself yeah because yeah. this is what we do we lose ourselves sometimes in the business I, do. I totally lost myself but yeah. it's a good thing because it's hard when you're on your own and you don't have a partner mm -hmm. you have to do it no one else will do it for you yeah it's all up to you and that's why you must but then you have to prioritize the balance yeah because otherwise what do What's we do? The I remember I, after word? a year, I said, exactly, yes. that's the word. I'm here, I'm working, but whoa, what am I getting at? I just like bought myself a, a, a job that's yeah. like, instead of doing 40 hours a week, I'm doing like 120. What's yeah. going on to be here? Yeah. You know? I, I, was supposed to, I was supposed to have a different life. You know? <laughs> supposed to be at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's the beauty of it, you know, and things will take time. For sure. But you have to prioritize yeah. the balance yeah. always. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Well said. Well said, Mike. Awesome. And so um, I think one of the last questions is, you know, Mike, 
you're an entrepreneur. You're not just a business owner. You're an entrepreneur. And we kind of like to bring this up a lot is, is do you, do you see the future of entrepreneurship, whether it's in nutrition or whether it's in just any business someone wants to start, do you see it being really important in the future? Or do you think it has to be more of a, a formal type of, of aspect to it? go to school? And go you know what? I, I think it all depends. Like, are, are you saying like, should people be entrepreneurs or, or yeah. for what's someone? your, what's your input on that? I feel like it all depends on the person. Okay. And, you have to figure out what makes you happy. For sure. I did, look, I opened Fresh House when I was uh, 32. Yeah. I worked for somebody for 10 years. Yeah. You know, I, I and worked happy for somebody. With it. And I was happy. And when I started working for him, I didn't know I was going to open my own business. Yeah. yeah. Come. And then something triggered. You, you start getting influenced by a few people. Some people get influenced at a young age. Yeah. There's younger entrepreneurs than me. And there's older entrepreneurs. I think you have to listen to yourself. Because what happened to me is... When I was working for someone, it took me about a few years, okay. and then I started getting it in my head that maybe I want something different, and you don't know what it is, yeah. and you start dabbling with different things. Yeah. But at one point, I realized I want to do my own thing, yeah. and some people might never realize that. They okay. might be happy where they working are. where they are, and that's great because for sure. you want to be happy at the end of the day. Yeah. That's all we want. For me, I realized I need something more. Mm -hmm. What is it? That was the question, and I started dabbling with different things. You know, it was always health related. I was in a uh, personal trainer, boot camp instructor, and then I thought I was going to be a physiotherapist or a chiropractor. Wow. And and then you know, then I was going to open a physiotherapy clinic and or a clinic here, and then I somehow got introduced to the juice. Yeah. And I said, you know what, I really love this. Mm -hmm. And then I just a at one point you just have to you know pull the trigger, but. I think that, yeah, again, it, it all comes down to the person, the person mm -hmm. you know, do you really want this? And maybe you can try being an entrepreneur and realize it's not for, for you and go back. Yeah. Me personally, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. all the headaches. For sure. I love everything that it's comes along with it. Yeah. I love the challenge. I love the risk. I love the sacrifice. I love the reward. It is just, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't go back to it now because even if I shows didn't work, I'd probably try to think of. Something Another else. thing to yeah. do, yeah. but um, I'm happy that it's working. Yeah. And uh, I, I think that it's it's a very rewarding, you know, if you do Process become and... successful. For sure. You know, for sure. And you'll you'll be happy. You look back at your life yeah. after, and it's for sure. great. Awesome. That's great. But again, it's not for. I'll tell you, it's yeah. not for everyone because no. I'm just yeah. thinking now. I had a partner at the beginning. Okay. She thought she wanted to be an entrepreneur, uh -huh. and what happened with her was. It was, you know, okay, I said, I want to open. Yeah. Let's meet. Here's the work. Mm. A week later, I did my share. She did it. Mm. What happened? Oh, I had to do this, this, this. I said, that's okay. Then I did it. Then I said, okay, uh, next week we have to make a business plan now, and you will research, you know, where to get bottles. Then we meet. She didn't do it again. So she liked the idea of, of, it, of it, but, but she didn't want to do the work. Yeah. And the good thing is she understood that. And that's, We're still that's, friends that's good, today, for sure. Awesome. And, but she thought, you know, people see beautiful juice, so oh, I can have this and that. But then when they actually have to do the work, wait a minute. It's another. I yeah. have to do this, and so nobody's <laughs> paying me, and, and actually I have to pay my own time plus money to research this. I, I don't want that. I want to so, go home. Yeah, I mean, I usually go to work and then I get paid, right? Yeah. And that's what happens, you know. So we we don't know until we try. Exactly. That's where you can put that. Yeah. You have to try. Get a try, and, uh, and uh, that's uh, the beauty of life. You never yeah. know until you try. For sure. Yeah. Awesome, Mike. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming. It means a lot. And uh, who knows? We maybe we're thinking in a year time we'd like to do like a checkup and see where people are at and see what has yeah. come about and go from there. That's it. Let's see. Uh, let's see if there's another fresh house. Huh? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I think there might be. I think so. Never know. Yeah. Never know. yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Mike. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Alex. It was awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anytime, brother.